Hello guys, how are you? So with this laptop you know, from which I am recording now, it's a, a customer laptop which has two issues in fact. The first one is uh, it doesn't detect the battery. The message here uh, says aucune battery detected, which simply means no battery detected in English. And the other issue is with the BIOS, which I can't discuss here in this video. It's because I am going to share this video in various server, and that issue, that thing, the issue is not allowed to be discussed in that server. So I have to keep, I have to to keep with, the, I have to to keep with the rules, even if it's a video because I am going to share it in that server so I'm going to respect the rules there so uh, I usually do downgrade in case I have this issue battery absent I always do BIOS version downgrade I downgrade my BIOS, the BIOS of the machine to the first the available version in the official site of the brand of the machine. In this case, we have a Dell E6410. It's a latitude E6410. So, and uh, it's always important to check. Uh, the actual version of the machine we can check it using a simple command in the same day or in the command prompt let's open it as administrator and we just type a simple command w a w m a c space bios space get space sm bios sorry bios bios again version without spaces there and we hit enter so here we have our version it's a05 so in case things get uh, get in case you have an issue during the update or the downgrade of the of your version at least you know uh, what was before in that laptop so you may opt for that version uh, to flash your BIOS anyway so as I was saying I always I always downgrade the version of Dell especially with the Dells when I got this issue with the battery which is not recognized by the way I have checked with three different good known batteries genuine three genuine good known batteries so the, the issue is with the board or BIOS so before opening the laptop I always downgrade the BIOS version. If the issue is solved, then that's okay. I move to the other issue if there's any. If not, I may try two, three different following versions. If I got to success, then it's okay. If not, then I have to disassemble my the machine and uh, check the board. What's wrong with the board? But the problem is that we can't update or downgrade our BIOS in Windows by just double clicking on a dot exe file downloaded from Dell support site so we have to force it we use uh, the command prompt to do that so let's download our first version of this machine first version BIOS f uh, our uh, the first BIOS version so we have a Dell E6410 
Let's type A01 BIOS to get it quicker. So it's the first result here, I think. Yes, always the first result with Dell and uh, HP. Uh, okay, we have here the A01 version. So let's download it. It's uh, 5 mega file. It will be quick. Uh, yes. Okay. So if we double click on it, we got uh, one mail, an error. The flash update program requires administrator rights. Please rerun. Okay. Here, uh, the, the error is the way we execute it. Let's do it as administrator. Even doing it as administrator, we will get a an error. The IC adapter and battery must be plugged in before the system views can be flushed. So you can't do any update or downgrade of your BIOS in this machine if one of the two uh, is absent, either the adapter or the battery. Here we have the battery is absent because it's not recognized. In fact, I, I removed it from the PC. Uh, if, if I, even if I plug it, it's like it's not there. So we cancel. So in this case, we have to force our update or our downgrade of the version. We do that with the command prompt again. So let's type again here, same day, and run it as administrator. Yes, accept, and we just oh, so one minute I love things to be easy I have to copy this executable file in in the disk local C root here so that I don't have to type a lot of words in the command prompt Okay, uh, before closing this window, I may do this. I may control C, copy the name so that I just paste it in the win in the same the window when I need it. So the command which we are going to use is easy. Let's go to our root first. D slash enter RCD slash enter and we are going to paste the name here but we have to add the dot egg the full name should, should be taped here so the name of our file and the extension we now hit space slash force it so simple force it okay hit enter this utility will update your BIOS, your system BIOS and firmware during the update procedure. Your system will restart before can you continue close all open documents and exit all running applications, etc. We don't need to read all these things. So let's hit OK. And here you have the information which the things that will be done after hitting OK. This. A05 will be replaced by A.1, which simply means A01, the one we have downloaded, this one. So if I hit OK right now, my PC will restart. 
and I may lose the video so I won't do that right now but uh, be sure that whenever I hit that OK the PC will restart and finish the operation I may take photos with my phone so that I can join them with the video in the server so let's let's pick my phone and now I'm going to say bye bye see you in the next tutorial